How about the draft? How many of you people out there really want to sign up for the military or you want your children to sign up for the Army? Did you know that nobody has ever been drafted into the Army or the military in the United States of America in 225 years? Not one case of anyone being drafted. Volunteered. We'll talk about that right after this break. Question, comment. Um, No one's ever been drafted. Never. Well, Congress passed the laws. But everybody volunteers. Here's the way that works. Yes. In Title VIII of the U.S. Code, the standards for the military conscription are laid out by Congress. So what happens is when you join the Army, you go down to the recruiter and you say, I want to join. He gets out a contract and he passes it over. He says, sign right there, son. And so you sign right there. And then he puts you through a little ceremony over here and he says, here, um, Take a step forward, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. And that's what makes you a soldier. When you take a step forward, raise your right hand, and swear an oath of allegiance to the United States, that makes you a soldier. What would happen if you didn't take that oath? What would happen if you got a letter... And the letter said, greetings, you've been inducted into the United States Army. And that letter is a subpoena. And the subpoena requires that you appear at the Army Induction Center. So when you apply, or when you appear, they will put you in a room with a bunch of other guys, line you up in two rows, and then they will say, take a step forward, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. And when you do that, you become a soldier, and they'll take you into another room, and then they will give you the contract and say, sign all these papers. And then when you finish signing those papers, you have now volunteered to join the Army. Yes. What would happen if they gave you the subpoena, and you followed the subpoena's directions, and you appeared at the Army Induction Center, and then when you get there, they tell you, line up, Take a step forward, you take a step back, they say, raise your right hand, you take a step to the left, and you say, hold it, hold it, hold it. If I do this, will I be waiving any of my civil or constitutional rights? And guess what? They will escort you from the room. Yes, before any of the other guys in there figure out something went on. That's correct. (laughs) Then they will work on you, and they will threaten you, and then tell you that we're going to put you in prison. We're going to prosecute you, and we're going to take you out in the alley and beat you up. But when they get all through, and it's about 15 minutes to 5, they'll give you a one-way bus ticket back home. Bottom line, nobody's ever been drafted in the United States. The 13th Amendment prohibits it. But many people have been cunningly coerced into waiving their rights due to their ignorance. Well, 13th Amendment says no involuntary servitude. doesn't say a word about voluntary servitude. That's it. Everybody serves, and they go into servitude, but they go into servitude voluntarily. So the conscientious objector status is obtained not by refusing to sign up for the draft. That's a requirement, just like... We have a jury duty requirement. And when you receive your notice for jury duty, you must appear. You don't have to serve on the jury. When you receive your draft notice, that's the equivalent of a subpoena. You have to appear, but you don't have to serve. 